Here we have a 51 kilogram object sliding down a ramp. And A wants to know what is the weight of the object. So we're going to use the force of weight equation. And the force of weight equals mass times gravity. And we know that the mass of our object is 51 kilograms and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. When we multiply those, we get 51 times 9.8, and we get 499.8. <clears throat> so the force of weight is 499.8 newtons, and technically it is down. Alright, which direction does weight always point? The force of weight always points down. Alright, since it is touching a surface, what force is acting on the mass? Our normal force. Since it is sliding down a ramp, which way does the friction act? It's going to be acting up and to the left. If, if the box is moving down and to the right, friction is going to be up and left. Because friction directly opposes where the object wants to go. And now we need to draw and label the forces acting on the mass. So we have the force of weight. Let me try that again. It should be directly down. All right. We also have the normal force, which is perpendicular to the surface, and we have our frictional force. So here is our frictional force. Here is our normal force. And here's our force of weight. Okay, so since this object is sliding, does it have to have an acceleration? Could it be accelerating down the ramp? Well, the answer is it could be it could be accelerating down the ramp. But what if, what if our net force was zero? Alright, we know that the object is sliding down the ramp, and if it had a net force of zero, what what could it be doing? It could be moving at a constant speed. Alright, so it could be doing two different things. Either it's accelerating down the ramp, or it has a net force of zero. It's in equilibrium, is what we call that and it could be traveling with a constant speed down the ramp. 